Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert this data into a more presentable data in this way in a simple and easy steps. So let's get started. So guys, here as you can see, I have some data and this data is about the energy consumption in the US from 2006 to 2016 energy consumption sources which is coal natural gas petroleum so this data somehow if you input that this data into your microsoft powerpoint will not look too good which i will show you over here which is right over here you can see that this graph doesn't look too good the simple simple heading just table caption and all this data is too difficult to interpre interpret like which uh, sources which resources were were used more in a number in certain year and which was less so make it to make it more presentable what we can do is we can convert this table into a chart so for that, what I will uh, suggest you, uh, make a data in Excel first. So once you are done with that, go, select that data, go to insert options, recommended charts. When you are in a recommended charts, you can easily see that you have a data over here. So just click, uh, simply click over here and then we are going to do the other things. So right now what you can see is that we have this data. I'm sorry, we have this data and we don't want total consumption to be a part of it so we are just going to simply select this one and delete this one and we are automatically going to uh, remove uh, uh, we automatic the data automatically was adjusted to the new data without total consumption so now we are going to delete this section and then we are just going to copy this one and we are going back to our slides here and we are going to work on this part now so let's say we paste our data here so once we are done we are going to extend this graph over here increase the height and then make sure it's something like this and then the first thing we are going to do is select all the data and i'm going to just convert into uh the font which i like the uh, the most or which is more uh, suitable in these terms now what we are going to do the next part is you can simply click over here you will have different options which includes access access titles first of all we are going to add access titles so you can see now two access titles are added now we don't need the chart title so we are going to work separately with that we don't need data labels if we have data labels they won't look good we don't need this data table down below because we already are presenting graphically and we don't need these error bars okay all and also we don't need the trend line so we are going to select it like this and now we are going to work on the font so let me let me just quickly delete this one and now i'm going to work on this part but before that let me change the background color first i tend to use dark backgrounds for some graphics so that they can have more visualization okay so you can also choose depending upon your theme of your presentation so now we are going to work on this part first so go to home and increase the size to up till 20 make sure your size is big enough so that it can easily be seen by the audience and also make sure this size is 20 but this time it should be bold also make sure this is white because you need to find that color which is more appealing and more uh, more visible in the with the background that you have already selected so same here 20 font here and same here 20 font here and i'm going to make it bold this time bold and white and similarly bold and white so now you can see that your graph has currently available now now we are going to work on this part let's say we are going to make it 20 and this is big enough now what you can do is you can simply drag it and bring it up to the top okay now you can see that there's a lot of space over here what you can do is select this one simply drag it like this make sure you don't drag it too much and covers too much space of your uh, of your slide and just make sure that you only cover the uh, cover enough that you need now we are going to work on access titles here so click here type here and simply click here and say energy consumption energy consumption and i'm going to just write the unit here and we are done with this one okay so guys when you are done with this one what you can do is select this one and make sure it's white and now most of the part is done now if you select this one what you can see is you can change the color of the background you can click on solid fill and you can choose whatever color you like if you want to choose white you can also choose white but the thing is that you can see that you cannot see your background what you can do is you can just simply drag it down a little bit so that your data can be easily seen and also easily visible right now it's too bright so what you can do is you can decrease the transparency and you can just reduce the transparency to make sure that it looks uh, more visible and if you think that this gray is not too good you can just simply click on uh, once on, on this one and you can go here and select a different color for this one now it has two similarities with this one so i will choose uh, something which is a bit different or something a bit uh, let's see this one so it's a bit different also not too similar and also uh, uh, gives a gives a good uh, explanation for other parts 
but what I want to do is that I will go and choose some dark colors which is something like this or I will go with this one so once I'm done with this one you can see that it looks more visible and more vibrant and we are going to work on the title first so for the title you can see same yeah uh, Calibri but I don't want this one I will select all this one here and century and gothic and you can see it's here I'm going to copy this one and this one so make sure when you're working with the uh, we're working with the sources you can make the source caption uh, uh, dark, dark color or yellow or make other part white so this is one example with uh, if you have something like uh, for example now you can see that the graph is done and what you can do is you can move this one and make sure it's in the middle now you can see that there is a line here and it shows that you are in the middle also this part looks a bit congested so what I can do is I can simply drag it from here and now you can see that have enough space now I can just simply move it to the right side left side now you can see it has enough space on the top and the bottom similarly I will create enough space here so that ear can easily breathe and that means it can have enough space now you can see I simply drag it or as a whole and now your graph is done I will show you one more example what if you want to have a white background okay so just copy this one paste it here now let's go with this one select this one and choose a dark color normally when I make presentation I normally choose this color which I like and it's more suitable and also looks more professional I don't know why but it looks does looks more professional and more uh, more sober in terms of the black color black color doesn't gives a good vibe to the overall overall perspective of the like overall theme of the presentation so I tend to use a dark blue color and it makes uh, the presentation a bit more uh, more better so now we are going to work on this part and change it to light blue or oh, let's say we don't choose a color let's say no fill and you can see that this looks equally good and also we are going to replace this one this time with a different color let's say we keep it maroon so that shows this is a reference if somebody want to see you can see in the bottom and with the if they don't want to see they can leave it or ignore it similarly you can just uh, reduce this part over here and now compare the slides from here I'm just going to delete this one and I'm going to say that uh, good transition I'm going to put a morpho here and now let's see how it looks this is the first slide data looks too complicated somebody's stuck over here somebody's stuck over here nobody wants to know nobody understands what's going on so here you go you can have a graph instead so this graph easily shows that okay these ones are petroleum okay this had the highest consumption or the nuclear had the lowest consumption although nuclear is not too visible we can change a different color uh, that's okay but if you see in the white graph it also looks equally good so now one thing which I will tell you and will wind up over here is that you can increase the width of these so go here and as you can see that there's a gap width called this one you can increase the gap width or you can decrease the gap width I recommend you decrease the gap width and increase the series overlap that means they will not have space between them so just say series overlap like this and they will show something like this so guys this was today's video and today's lesson how to make a simple textual text data or table into a good infographic or present presentable graph so guys that's what that's it for today I hope you guys like this video if you haven't watched my previous videos do watch them and till then take care Allah Hafiz